I'd like to ask you all today to think back on the first stories you remember being told as a child. Were they stories about people or were they stories about animals that talked and felt like people? Maybe there was a donkey that was really sad all the time, a tiger that couldn't calm down, and a pig that was worried constantly. <laughs> and maybe that felt a little bit like the child you were at different points throughout the day. Humans are made out of countless layers and endless parts. Our mental health is a stacking of genetics, chemistry, biology, diet, exercise, experience, and relationships all stacked on top of each other. I believe that we use the unfiltered truth of animal and plant symbols in order to express this inner mental health narrative with the world through all forms of art. The importance of these symbols is that they're unburdened by personal human baggage, and so they're capable of creating more empathic and direct connections between art and viewer. In my work, I investigate this in order to create helpful dialogues about mental health and provoke self-reflection of the viewer on their own symbols. These symbols are not universal, they're culturally dependent, but most important, they're individual to ourself. I express this through my art by layering printmaking, painting, drawing, and occasionally sculptural elements as seen in the work here, Inner Portraits. In Inner Portraits, I took four individuals who were very confident about speaking on their own mental illness diagnosis. I asked them to pick an animal and a plant symbol that expressed their view of their mental illness, as well as to pick an animal and plant symbol that they envisioned society viewed their mental illness or mental health in general as. I created these portraits by taking antique brick molds and using a laser to cut layers of birch wood and screen printing to create the lines to form these portraits of their faces stacked on, um, with their animal and plant symbol stacked on top. On the outside of these brick molds, I use the laser again to etch the society symbols that uh, they picked for themselves. I was very impressed with each individual's insight and ability to draw upon these symbols really quickly and deeply. For example, on the top right, this individual suffers from general anxiety disorder as well as major depressive disorder. For her anxiety disorder, she chose the meerkat because of its hypervigilance, always on alert but she gave it a positive spin. They're always on alert, but they do this in order to protect their family. I hope that by pursuing this research and this art, I can create more dialogue and understanding and give voice to those that maybe wouldn't be able to otherwise. Through viewing our own symbols, we can understand the other. Thank you.